Here's a common mistake that I see students making when multiplying fractions. I'm a private math tutor, so when I'm working with students, I see this happen pretty often. So what we'll do is we have two different denominators. Students will take that and find common denominator of 18, and then multiply across the top. 16 times 33 gives us 528. We're keeping the denominator of 18, and then we reduce and get 29 and 1 third. Can you find the common mistake? If you said this part right here of finding common denominator, you're correct. While you can find common denominator and still get the correct answer, you really don't have to. So you're kind of creating more work for yourself by doing it this way. Also, the part that is actually a mistake in this problem is not multiplying the denominator and keeping it as 18. We should have multiplied 18 times 18. So let's see how to correctly do this. We can really make this problem a lot easier by just multiplying across the top and multiplying across the bottom. And then, we'd, of course, we would want to simplify our answer. But if you want to really make this problem easier for yourself, then cross cancel anything that you can. So in this case, we can cross cancel 8 and 6 into 4 and 3, which makes our number smaller to multiply. So 4 times 11 is 44. 9 times 3 is 27. And then we can reduce that into 1 and 17 over 27.